HS2 um, as a scheme, I don't think is particularly viable. Um, it's likely to cost close to um, 100 billion, uh, rather than the original kind of 50 billion it was supposed to cost. And in truth, in the end, the gains of HS2 will go to London. So when you look at the numbers of which part of the country will benefit the most, London benefits the most. And in an economy that is hugely skewed towards London and the southeast, where we need to rebalance across the, uh, the country, where we need to kind of create economic opportunities across the country, it's not clear to me that HS2 is the scheme that does that. So absolutely, we need high-speed rail. Absolutely, we need to connect the country up. But I fear that HS2 is a scheme that answers a problem that we really don't want to be answered. David, what, what do you think is going to happen to HS2? I mean, quite a few of the Tory leadership candidates now seem to be distancing themselves from it. Yeah, no, I, I, I take the view, I will take the advice of northern civic leaders, most of them Labour, plus the Mayor of Birmingham, who's a Tory, who are very, very keen on HS2 for, for the exact opposite reason that Beata's just given. They think it's absolutely essential to uh, regenerating the North. HS1 goes through and indeed stops in my constituency. So I have seen mm -hmm. the incredible regeneration that high-speed rail can provide. And I'd like to see that in northern cities. And, and the point about the West Country is that you can be absolutely guaranteed that if HS2 gets cancelled, then there is never, ever going to be high-speed rail <laughs> down to this part of the country. Can I just... And yes. the reason, but that's the reason why the northern leaders are in favour of it, because they're worried if we don't have this scheme, we won't have anything else. If you gave them but, 100 but billion and you said to them, what do you want to spend it on? Well, I promise you, okay, I need to get around the rest of the panel, or they won't get a word. Not saying that. Camilla.